Hey Diva Squad, welcome back to my channel, A Diva on a Budget. Hi Diva Squad, welcome back. If you're new, what's up? My name is Monique, I'm the Diva. And if you're not, like I said, welcome back Diva Squad. Today, we're going to go ahead and hit the subject self-love. Now, that inquires for you to also have self-care. And all in one, you also have to have self-respect also. So those are just a three bundle that we're going to be talking about today. If you want to keep watching this, please go ahead. Don't forget to hit the like button. And we're going to go ahead and get on into this video. So I'm going to hit this subject because after my hysterectomy, I have had a lot, a, a lot of hard times trying to have self-respect, self-love, and self-care for myself. I don't mean that I don't take care of myself as far as a woman and wash my butt and, you know, look good because, of course, appearances are different than the inside. I mean on the inside and the core of yourself taking care of yourself spiritually and internally and for me that means to wake up every morning and pray I'm a Christian I firmly believe I'm waking up thanking God for opening my eyes thanking God for my health and strength and for my ability to be able to see walk have a roof over my head clothes on my body etc etc I am a firm believer on that now. I have just now started to get into my Bible and get into my devotions also. And that's something very important to me. Now, the reason why I just now started to get into those things is because I feel like before my hysterectomy, my mental was a lot more stabler than it is now. Um, for women, after having a hysterectomy, it... it throws your whole balance off and I mean mentally physically everything is thrown off so it's very vital to have a balance mentally in the mind now if you have to get therapy for that because I firmly also believe in having a therapist and seeing a therapist that doesn't mean you're crazy that doesn't mean that yeah you you know oh I gotta go see a quack or whatever people want to call it that means that you're Seeing someone to help you get the tools that you need to get through your everyday life and maybe those things those tools you need more than ever now than you did before because you had a balance then because you know how to uh, control your outbursts and not yell at people because because you knew how to have a filter because you knew how to um, not just say what was on your mind so and in saying that I feel like having a therapist if you need help please seek it out um, go see a therapist if you need a number I will link something down in the description bar so you can find a therapist and talk to somebody um, that means if you need to talk to um, a therapist talk to a therapist if you feel like you, there's somebody close enough in your family that you can talk to about your issues then do that too because sometimes holding on to so much and having so much going on in your heart and in your mind and in your spirit you're like a ticking time bomb that means you're holding in all this anger you're holding in all this fear you're holding in all the things that are holding you back from caring and loving yourself so that means you need to let go of all that and talk to somebody 
that also goes with self-care. You know, loving yourself enough to know when enough is enough, when you need to let go, when you need to talk to somebody, and you need to let it all out so that you don't blow up, you know? The next thing that you need to do is self-care. Self-care is very important. That is mentally self-care. Um, mentally, you have to cleanse yourself of anything that you feel like is negative. As far as if you have to not watch TV, limit watching TV, not go on social media, limit yourself from social media, um, read. Give yourself more, um, you know, more imagination. Give your, educate yourself more. Um, if you need to take a break from all the outside world and just meditate or just pray or just go outside and take that walk to exercise or do some yoga to exercise and to just breathe or just to turn the radio on and dance just to let it all go then do that i mean those are some tips that i do when i need to let it all go i i might go exercise i might walk my dog i might just go for a walk on my own and excuse me if you hear a noise in the background i have my fan on because it is so hot in this room so i need to have the fan going and especially because um of course i have I have a cardigan on too that I'm trying to, you know, look cute on with, you know. FYI, I got this um, top from Shein and it comes with some shorts. Go check my picture out on my Instagram. Follow me on at a diva on a budget on Instagram and you'll be able to see this look because I got looks on there. Moving on. Um, yeah, so you need to just like take care of your body and your mind it, and that is taking care of your body and your mind together by exercising and going and take that walk or go take a bike ride or whatever you can clear your mind and look at a whole new scenery instead of being um watching tv watching um these bodybuilders and these beautiful girls on instagram and facebook that you know you don't look nothing like but you look like you and you are beautiful the way you are. You don't have to do anything different. Maybe if you feel like you wanna be healthier, be healthier, boo, but don't change yourself because you think somebody else is cuter than you. Oh, um, Diane is cuter than me, or oh, um, Kiki is cuter than me, or oh, um, Amanda is cuter than me. Well, you know what? Do something for you by working out, by reading, by, you know, running, by riding your bike, by taking a walk, whatever you need to do, lift some weights, you know, so that you can build on your self-confidence and you don't have to say, oh, such and such is cuter than me. You can look in the mirror and be like, dang, I look cute. I look bomb. I'm fine. You know, I'm beautiful the way that I am. You know, I feel like that myself, but I feel like me as Monique as a diva I could be a lot more healthier because I am overweight that doesn't mean I'm a beast but that means I'm overweight for my height I am 5'8 which I thought I was 5'7 and a half but I guess hey I grew I don't know but I am 5'8 and um I, I do have a little bit of more curviness on me than what I would like. Growing up, I had always been a skinny person. I'll insert a picture of me when I was younger, but now I'm thicker and I'm, I have the comfort weight on me. It's harder to take off weight than it is to put on weight. Gaining weight, you know, look, it's that quick. You look in the mirror and you're like, where did this double chin come from? Where did these saggy arms come from? Where did all this boob come from? I mean, where did my belly come from? You know, you look in the mirror and you're like, okay, I need to work out. So you see the scale going down, but in the mirror, you still see that big girl. So look in the mirror. If you gotta look in the mirror every day to self-care yourself and have self-confidence, look in the mirror and be like, you know what? God created me like this or my parents create or whoever you believe in mother earth mother nature whatever I look in the mirror and I say God created me to be me and 
I make my own journey and I make my own book. So if I want to change something, it's going to be up to me to change it. So do that and tell yourself in the mirror, I am beautiful. I am beautiful where I'm at right now and I'm working on me. Give yourself kudos for being you because you're beautiful. Somebody in the world looks at you as you are a beautiful queen or you are a beautiful king. So know that, and I'm telling you that. You're beautiful the way that you are. You are. There's room for getting healthier. Even if you're curvier, or even if you're skinnier, there's room for being healthier, so know that. Now back to self-respect. Having self-respect is very vital to your mental. Having self-respect means that you love yourself enough to have a drive. You love yourself enough to have goals. You love yourself enough to achieve your goals, to achieve what you want to achieve, to do things for yourself, to not let allow people run over you, to not allow people to treat you wrong, to not allow people to disrespect you, to know what your boundaries are as a person. That all comes in self-respect and when you know those things and those lines and those boundaries and and that then that's my friend is when I can tell you that you have self-respect that doesn't mean you have to be a little butthole excuse my friend that doesn't mean you have to be a little witch or whatever you want to say and and um tell people off or have an attitude or whatever that means that you just know what you're gonna take as a person. You know your boundaries, you know your limits, you know what you want in life. And there's nothing wrong with knowing what you want in life and your boundaries and your limits. Now, uh, people might mistake that for being manipulative and being um, cocky with themselves and also being narcissists. So they do, people like that um, mess up because they think they're better than you or they think they're better than this person and that person. Or they think that they can mess up and, and disrespect somebody and then that person has to apologize to them um, because you finally stood up for yourself or because you finally said, you know what, you're not going to disrespect me. Um, and people that think that they can disrespect people and then that other person has to apologize is a bunch of crap. It's a bunch of crap. Because you know you're getting disrespected when you're getting disrespected. You know when you're getting ran over. You know when people are taking advantage of you. You know, and if you don't, know the difference. Try hard to know the difference. If someone's telling you, girl, that was so rude of that person or honey, that girl was so disrespectful to you and wrong, or, you know, somebody is telling you in your face, like, look, you don't have to be treated that way. People will treat you better than that. Then you really have to dig deep in your mind and your soul and your heart and think, do I really care about myself? Do I really respect myself? As a woman, I was in an abusive relationship and I got beat up pretty bad. I, I had a man hit me in my face when I had braces and my tooth, my bracket on my tooth connected to my lip. He hit me so hard that I had to rip my lip off of my braces. That, my friend, is not self-respect because you know what? I allowed him to treat me horribly for years, for years. Until one day, I was walking with my daughters down a street with him. And this is going to get raw and ugly, you guys. And we got into a fight over my phone. Which a lot of people get into fights over phones because sometimes 
people have a lot of secrets in their phone. You know, maybe you're just, uh, you just have a lot of friends and, you know, other people don't like that you have a lot of friends. You know if you have something good in your phone or if you have something bad in your phone. You know if you're doing good or if you're doing right, right? Right. So, um, we got into an argument over my phone. At the time, he didn't have a phone. And at the time, we weren't making ends meet. So, we were struggling. As a family. And um, I got upset because I realized that this guy is treating me really messed up and I'm gonna put my foot down. You're not gonna sit up here and treat me messed up, especially out in public. And it's one thing in the home where you treat me messed up in the home, but it's another thing when you're treating me messed up out in public, when people are seeing me and people think that I am allowing this, that it's okay, it's embarrassing. Even though I was allowing it and I did think it was okay at the time because I loved him, but it wasn't okay. So he got mad, I stood up for myself and he pushed me down and choked me in front of a cable girl. Now this cable girl, long story short, was up on the pole as I almost am about to black out. I see her and hear her running, belt on and off, and screaming, hey man, get off of her. Now he was choking me so much to where I was about to black out. This young lady, I wish I knew her name. I really wish I knew her name. She saved me. She saved me. I could have been choked to death. I felt like I was about to black out, literally. I had zero respect for myself at that time. I realized that I needed to let go of this baggage. I needed to let go of this man that he was doing more harm to me than love. That if someone loved you so much, they wouldn't do that to you. They wouldn't put their hands on you. They wouldn't want you to hurt. They wouldn't want you to feel like I'm vulnerable. Like I'm always afraid of you. You wouldn't want the person that you love to be afraid of you. I was with a narcissist. I was with someone who thought that they were better than me, who thought that I would never leave him. He literally told me that no one's going to want you with all your kids. Well, guess what? <laughs> Almost 15 years later, I'm married. And my husband loves me for who I am and loves my kids. And I love our kids and our family. And it was a big, huge lie because in my mind, I believed him. And I had to take a whole year of self-care and self-respect to realize that I don't need a man. I just want someone who's going to love me and appreciate me for who I am. And God gave me that man. And I'm so grateful for that. I really am. And now I have self-respect for myself. And I put my foot down now when I feel like I'm being disrespected. I put my foot down when I feel like things aren't fair. Uh, because I shouldn't have to deal with stuff that you wouldn't deal with. If you, if you feel like your spouse wouldn't deal with something, if the shoe was on the other foot, then why the heck should you? Right? Self-care is caring for yourself, loving yourself, respecting yourself, soul searching. Taking care of yourself is making sure that you're healthy, you're strong, you're clean, you know? 
You gotta brush your teeth every day. You gotta wash your butt every day. You gotta brush your hair every day. You gotta put deodorant on every day. You gotta put lotion on every day. Some people don't, but I do. <laughs> you know, you gotta be presentable every day. You have to respect yourself every day. You have to have the mental and, and the spirit of wanting to have respect for yourself. Waking up every morning like, I have these goals. I'm gonna conquer these goals. I have this respect. I'm gonna make sure that everybody knows that I walk with confidence and that I am that woman or that man that deserves respect. Because I respect myself enough to know that I should get that respect. You see what I'm saying? And when you walk with confidence and you know that you have the power to say that you take care of yourself inside and out, that you respect yourself inside and out, you ain't gonna take nothing from nobody, then they gonna people will see that radiating on the outside and will respect you even more. Hope that you guys learned something from that. I hope you guys take my little story time and um, run with it and go ahead and apply those things that I told you to your life because self-respect, self-care, and self-dignity and self-love is so vital to yourself and to others. Not just to yourself, to other people too. If you're a mother, if you're a sister, if you're a brother, if you're a daughter, if you're a niece, if you're a nephew, those things are very vital to yourself and others around you because you can't be walking around thinking you're the bomb and you're disrespecting everybody around you, especially when they're helping you. Don't do that. Because you know what? That one person that you need help from one day might not be there for you because you burned all those bridges. Soak it up, y'all. I hope you like this self-care video. If you like more of these videos, please, a uh, freaking, a uh, freaking, a uh, don't forget to what? Smash that like button. What are you gonna do? Smash that like button. And if you, right there, if you, if you sitting here watching this self-care video, getting all my information, and you not on the diva squad, skirt, I'm gonna need you to go ahead Make the decision, make the jump, go ahead, hit subscribe, do it, join the Diva Squad, you won't be disappointed, and also hit that notification bell, so you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video, and I hope whatever you're doing, whenever you're doing it, day or night, that you're having a great day or night, and you're staying safe, 